All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today, we're doing something I hoped I wouldn't have to do. Um, we'll see how it goes, but basically we're gonna repair our uh, chain adjuster bolts on the KTM. Um, to back up and explain to you guys what happened, I'll throw some video in right here. Um, went to uh, remove my chain adjuster bolts on the swing arm, and uh, one of them came out pretty tough. The other one seized up in it, and I can't get it out. I ended up snapping the bolt head off. Um, and so now I have two options. I am going to, uh, luckily I have some, some threads exposed still. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have my buddy weld on a nut for me um, on the remaining threads. And then I'm gonna soak it. Well, I already have soaked it for a couple days in uh, PB blaster or some kind of a uh, um, PB blaster of sorts. So. Um, if I cannot manage to get it out after this, we're going to go ahead and cut it off. We're going to drill the bolt out and we're going to use a swing arm buddy to fix it. So what a swing arm buddy is, is it basically, you basically eliminate the whole stainless steel bolt in a aluminum threaded, uh, swing arm and you go steel to steel. So it's a little insert that goes into your swing arm and it fixes the whole problem. Now, this is one gripe I have with every dirt bike manufacturer out there. They do this, they put a steel or a stainless steel bolt inside of an aluminum swing arm. And what happens is you get a breakdown and corrosion of the two and they end up binding up and seizing up together and you can't get them out. So uh, one thing that should be done on every bike, um, new or used when you pick it up, is you should very first thing, take your rear axle out, pull your wheel, pull your chain adjusters and anti-seize them immediately. Um, that's the only fix is to do that. Now, why that's not done in factory, I, it's beyond me. So I've seen uh, new bikes, one, two years old that have had seized up chain adjuster bolts and you don't have a choice. You either gotta drill them out or you, know, you break a bolt off and you use the method I'm using. So uh, obviously drilling them out is a very last resort, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So it's a fairly easy process anyway. So, right now, the goal is go get that nut welded onto the bolt, see if we can work it back and forth, get some more penetrating oil on it, um, maybe let it sit for another day or so and let it do its thing, um, but I've gotta get that bolt moving. If I don't, I will end up cutting it off or snapping it off, drilling it out, and then putting in the uh, swing arm buddy. So, either way, you guys are gonna get a fix today on how to do this. So, let's take it one step at a time, see where we end up. Okay, so we're going to weld the nut on to the bolt and we're going to see if we get some movement after that. There's definitely some oil in there. Oh yeah, there's a lot of penetrating oil in there. So we'll see what happens. Oh my gosh, that is crazy stuff. There's some WD-40 right there. Not quite the stuff you're using, but... Ooh, it's hot. Hot, hot, hot. <clears throat> crazy how stuck that little bit is, isn't it? Right. Maybe only about a half inch is all that's in there. But it doesn't take much for that corrosion just does its thing but the problem is is there's that much thread in there mm -hmm. and there was that much bolt in there so it just brought that corrosion all the way up and it's probably basically cross-threaded you've been using an impact on it or just by hand um i used an impact to begin uh -huh. once it started to get tied i stopped went <clears> back <throat> in because I, I know what that's doing you know right so and then we started with all the penetrating oil and everything like that but it is what it is. Okay guys, we're back in the garage here. We're gonna throw some heat on this thing and see if maybe, just maybe, this is gonna back out. I have my feelings that it's not. Now hopefully the aluminum gets hot enough that it expands much faster than the bolt so that we can get this thing turned a little bit. My goal here is to get this so that it will turn inward and not out so that I can get some more penetrating oil in there, but 
If it don't work this time, we're cutting this thing off and we're gonna put the fix-it kit in it. So, uh, I'm afraid that's going to be the fix. Moment of truth here. I'm gonna try to do this while holding the GoPro, so hopefully my, my vice holds up. There we go. <laughs> I can't do this while holding the camera. Let's see if I can get it to turn. Oh, you're kidding me. It's working. Oh, it's working. Oh, yes. I want to show you guys, but I can't hold the camera and turn it. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Ha! Ugh. I'm excited. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be because I'm about to, I don't know. It's about to stop. Hold on a minute. Maybe I can get this out. Maybe. It's getting tight going in again, so I'm gonna put some more oil on it. Okay, I let it soak in penetrating oil for a while. I'm gonna go ahead, whoops, try to back this out one more time. Let's see what happens here. Now remember, I had to screw this in a little bit, so let's see what happens. Please just come out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is working. Look at that. No way did that just work. <sighs> there it is. Oh, I see what we did. Well, we, accompl we accomplished one thing. And that was getting the bolt out so we don't have to drill it. But now, there's no threads left. So, fix it kit, here we come. Now, <laughs> basically I just twisted the threads out of this. Now, I don't have enough threads in there that I could even, you can see how many threads are left. I don't have enough threads in there that it would even make sense to try and tap this again and salvage what's left. So we're just gonna put the fix-it kit in it and uh, call it good. So I, that makes my job a lot easier though. I don't have to drill this out. And uh, yeah, kind of a pain in the neck. So I will uh, get the fix-it kit, show you guys how to install it. All right, fix-it kit. I'm gonna get uh, pretty down and dirty with this bad boy. I've used one before, they're pretty simple. Okay, comes with a drill bit, comes with two bolts, comes with your locking uh, nuts, and it comes with two inserts that go right into our jacked up area on our swing arm. Let me turn this a little bit. There we go. Now you guys can see it. So, yes, we will be doing it to this side also, even though this side came out fairly clean. If my camera will focus. Boom. So, uh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's fix this problem once and for all in the KTM. Alrighty. Got our swing arm clamped. We're going to drill this mother out. Now, you can see I've already got quite a bit of uh, ah, material removed from when I removed the uh, uh, threads, but it should still go in just fine. I do have to drill out a little bit more, so let's give her the old college try here. Oh, come on, really? Gonna pop out of my clamp like that? Okay, should be good enough. And by the way, you have to have this drill bit because it's the only drill bit long enough to do the job. Uh, unless you have a longer drill bit yourself, but it's a 3 8 bit, so... Maybe if I go to my drill setting. Okay, should work. Alrighty guys, got the swing arm cleaned up. I actually went ahead and installed one side already, but uh, I like to do that um, just in case I come up with any hang ups or anything like that, I can uh, tell you guys how to fix it. And I did actually come up with one hang up. So, what I did learn with this kit is this is a very, very tight fit. Tighter than the Swing Arm Buddy is, uh, which is a different brand of fix-it kit for this. Uh, and basically, 
what I'm saying is the drill bit that drills this hole out is not quite perfect for this, uh, for this uh, adapter here, this insert. So what I did was I went ahead and I drilled my hole out and I just kind of worked it around, made the hole just a tad bit bigger so that this gets started. Now, once you get that started, you can go ahead and drive it in. And I'll show you right now how to drive it in. It's very easy, just use a drift, um, hit right there, right there, just work it back and forth until it seats in. And then if you need to twist it a little bit with adjustment, you can hit it and get it kind of straightened out. But very simple process. Let me mount you up on the tripod and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so here I got my swing arm uh, sitting on the floor here. I've got this inserted. It is quite loose right now, but I'm gonna start driving it in. I've got my big drift that I use for, uh, you know, things like my uh, steering stems and stuff like that. What I don't wanna do is mess up the threads here. That's what I did on my last one. Um, I slipped, I dinged it, and I messed up my threads, so I'd go back and tap my threads. Easy fix, but if you don't have a tap and die set, it's not really an easy fix. So go ahead and just nice and slow, just kinda get it started. And it might, it might fight you, it might wobble a little bit in the beginning. Uh, but once you get it started, it will just kind of uh, get tight and then you'll just back and forth it. The trick is to getting it started without hitting it dead center and messing up those threads. Okay, so now I've got it started. So now I should be able to be pretty precise with my hits, just back and forth, hit the right side, left side, right side, right side again, and just drive it all the way in till it's nice and flat. And you're golden. Okay, now that we've got that drove in, we'll make sure that our bolt thread's in nice and snug, no, or ni not nice and snug, we don't want it snug, we want it loose. Make sure I didn't mess any threads up here. And so far so good, but go ahead and run your bolt basically as far in as it will go that way if we have a problem like right there where it's just kind of binding up uh, we can address it so okay actually wasn't bound up it just got a little bit snug there so i'm just going to go ahead and work this all the way in because if i have any damaged threads i want to address this issue now so i'm not going to go all the way in because i know it's going to be good from here on so i like it we are good to go Okay, now our very last step is to get us some anti-seize. And I like this uh, nickel anti-seize, the silver stuff. And uh, we are going to make sure that this problem never occurs again. For sure. So I'm just gonna mix my anti-seize up and get that lubricant mixed up in there so I don't just get straight oil. And if you've ever used anti-seize, you're gonna get it everywhere. It's messy, messy stuff. So go ahead and be thorough with it uh, on your bolt. That's overkill, to be totally honest with you. And uh, you can't go wrong. I think uh, this if you do this right when your bike is new, you shouldn't have the problem that we had. Um, but being that this wasn't my bike, uh, I wasn't able to get to it. Okay. And then we'll just go ahead and run these all the way in and back out. And that should be the end of it. Okay guys, so there's the finished product. All anti seized up, inserted, looking good. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a clean fit, it's a good finish. You almost don't know that it's not factory. So, uh, easy fix. Now, just remember, like I said, uh, when you use this Tusk kit, um, I didn't, I had to kind of waller that hole out a little bit and then drive it in. And uh, if you mess up the threads, just know you're gonna have to kind of tap it and you'll be good to go. But the NICs makes it buttery smooth. I mean, it's, it's awesome. So. Don't be afraid, order the fix-it kit, go ahead drill your bolts out if you got broken ones. Uh, hopefully you get lucky like me, can weld a nut on it and back it out, but you know, every situation is different. They all suck because 
you know, it's a, it's a totally avoidable issue, but um, unfortunately the manufacturers just keep doing it, doing what they do and never put anexes on them. So it is what it is. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Great how-to video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a like. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little bell so that when I put new videos up, you guys get a heads up on it. And uh, I appreciate all my new subscribers. The channel's growing quickly. Hopefully I can get some of these babies out to you guys because uh, they're pretty sick. Pretty happy with how the shirt's turned out. So give me a like. I appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. Keep the conversations up in the comments. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.